Welcome back students. In this video tutorial, we will learn a program to remove the duplicate elements of an array. Let us consider an array with some repeated elements. To find whether the element is repeated or not, we will take the first element and then we will compare with the other elements. When it is finding the same value and then it will be replaced with the value at last index here and then the last index will be removed that is the length of the array will be made to decrease by 1. This will be the first pass. We will take the value at index number 1. Again we will compare with all the values of the array. If it is finding and then again it will replace and remove the last index otherwise it will come to the third pass that is index 2 will be there. So, this will be repeated n minus 1 time where n is the number of elements in the array. So, this will be the outer for loop. So, we will have for i is equal to 0, i is lesser than length minus 1 i plus plus. At every pass, it should compare the element with the other elements. We will have next for loop that is j is equal to i plus 1. So, that is the element next to the i. So, to compare we will have if condition element at i is equal to element at j. Here i is 0, element at i is 12. So, j will be 1 at 1, 15 is available. So, these are not equal. So, it will move to the next j's value that is 2. So, 12 and 18 will be compared. Again, this is not true. Now, j will be 3. These both are equal now. When it is equal, we will take the value at last index. That is 67 here. So, we will overwrite value at last index to index at where the value is repeated. So, we have to write the code a of j is equal to a of l minus 1. Here l minus 1 is the last index. Then we will decrease the array length by 1 by giving l minus minus. Now at second pass i becomes 1. So, 15 will be there. 15 is compared with the other elements. It is not finding the repeated value. Now i will become 2. So, at 2 18 is available compares with this at index 5 it will find 18. So, at last index we have 83 value at index 5 also will become 83 and then this last index will be removed that is the length of the array decreases by 1. So, this will be repeated for i's value 3 and i's value 4 also. So, when i becomes 1 lesser than the last index the total iterations get over. By this time, all the duplicates might have been removed. Let us go to the program and execute. I will create a class. Let us have an argument instead of taking the input from the user. So, I write method prototype. So, rd. So, integer array called a of. So, I declare the array length and initialize l as a dot length. When we give as an argument, it will be difficult as to compare. So, I will print the array again here. So, I will write to write all the elements of an array, I give for loop int i is equal to 0, i is lesser than l and then i plus plus. So, system dot out dot 
print line of so let it be print and then we will give a of i then plus some space so it will print all the elements in the same line let me give a new line now let us write the outer for loop for int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than l minus 1 i plus plus for j is equal to i plus 1 as inner loop so that is j is lesser than l then j plus plus so now we will compare it if a of i is equal to equal to a of j then we will replace a of j will be a of last index value then we will decrease the array length that is l minus minus we supposed to give int here so now we will come out of both the for loop we will print the new array so let us intimate as new array without repetition so we will write for loop int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than l i plus plus so system dot out dot print of a of i plus gap so let us compile this no syntax error we will run this so we are giving as argument here 1 2 3 and then i repeat 2 now 7 9 12 let me repeat again some other element 7 65 32 okay so given array is there already now new array without repetition see there this 2 is removed so that 32 has put it into that place 7 9 12 is there so 7 is repeated so 65 has put it in that place if you have string type array then instead of giving this equal to equal to you already know we can have equals ignore case of so dot equals ignore case of then here we will have string type so here you can give equal to equal to true or else without true also will be working that means it will take it as true when it is not equal to you can give just not let us compile this no syntax error so when i give argument here i should give each element with double quotation so i write here keyboard mouse 4 cpu again i give 4 so let us give ok so you can see that the second time phone has disappeared so it is working well
i hope you learned well keep watching my videos thank you students